In this video, I will show you how to set up FTP or SFTP server in Windows Server 2008. First, I will show you how to set up FTP server. This is the basic for the SFTP. But if you set up the SFTP, then you cannot FTP again. Okay, let's go to Windows Server 2008. Let's go to here. At the bottom, there's a server manager. Go to server manage. First, we need to check if we have a uh, rows of IIS. Here, I already installed IIS, but if you do not have installed IIS, add, you can right click mouse, rows, add rows, then you see the IIS. I already checked this one. Second, you need to set up username and password for FTP. So you go to start menu and click here. Administrator tools. Click this computer management. I will click on computer management. You can see here local users and groups. You can create group, for example, add new groups, create FTP groups. Then you can create a user, new user, create user name, password. And associate this username and password to these groups. So if you have a different directory for FTP, then you can create different groups. Then you can FTP to different directory associated. So after you create username and password and groups, then you can go to here to create FTP ser service. For example, go to here, start menu, administrative tools, go to Internet Information Service Manager, click here. After this one, you can see this um, administrative here, you click this one, you can see the size, FTP size. So you can add this one, right click mouse, add FTP size. FTP size, you can set the uh, you can set define of okay this FTP I don't define any name this FTP so one for example then you can this is important physical pass this is the FTP you want to go to which pass to FTP because you don't want all your directory can be FTP you just specify which pass for as FTP can uh, access. For example, you can set this FTP directory again, this one. So people can only see this directory as sub directory. So then you click next. You can choose this IP, for example, this IP address. Then you can set allow IIS here. We don't need to put SS at all because we just FTP, not SFTP. Yeah. We just put a NES here. Then you can basically you can select which groups because I already let you define for some FTP groups, user group. So for example I, my group is FTP G group one. This is I define in a, in, a, in a group in a computer management. I show you before. You can click read or write. Read or write. Then you can click finish. So you can see here this FTP group. I created create this one. So after you create this one, FTP group. Then you can FTP this one, but we still need to check the firewall. Then you click this star menu. For example, you type the command called firewall.cpn. This command, firewall.cpn. Run firewall.cpn. This is just simply firewall configuration. So you can allow a problem feature through firewalls. You can see FTP is not another. So let's FTP server allowed. You also need another host process for Windows service allowed. Normally this is 
not show in this firewall service. Then you click this one, you can see the detail here. This is not added normally. So normally you can go to add another program here. And you can find Windows 32 and SVC host. SVC host the go down even go down. SVC host X exe you add this one and add the permission. After add this one you can see here host process for Windows Server and check this one. After install this post then you can check that go to command prompt to check this one FTP local host to see if you can connect it or not. So after you connect this one, now you can check about SFTP. But after SFTP, then you cannot FTP anymore. So if you don't want, you want to keep SFTP, don't probably do not need to set up SFTP. Okay, let's go to set up SFTP. Here we already finished this one. Then we're going to set as FTP server. So let's go to this website. This website, we need to download Open SSH for Windows. How to download Open SSH for Windows? We can go to this, direct, uh, this uh, website, sshwindows.sourceforge.net slash download slash. We can install this binary, install release. So I already installed this, this is a zip file. When you create this one, it's a zip file. It's a zip file. It's a zip file. Oh, this zip file is here. This is a zip file. How to unzip this one, you can see this called setup. Setup.php. Uh, setup. No, uh, no. You can see setup.exe file. Then you can run the setup.exe. I already installed it. After run the setup.exe, then you can see that this is installed in OpenSSH under the program files. So under ping is one. You need to run this program. Go to this ping. Run OpenSSH. MKPASWD application here. To produce uh, another file here, I show you here. We need this, run this, go to this bin directory, run mkpassfd. Minus L, minus U, this is the your SFTP uh, name, login name. So you can change your list to login name. Then you can send to the etc psfd. This is the psfd in the etc. So after you send this one, let's check this file. E E D C P S W D here. Yeah. So let's go to this file P S W D. You can see here P S W D. You can see here now is the default directory is home Jensen. This is the my local is default is home, but you need to change your S F T P directory. So after you change this one. Then you can SFTP to your server. So in summary, I show you how to set up FTP server. Better create a username and password in a computer management. Also add the IIS service. Also add the FTP side service. Then later I will show you how to set SFTP. Go to the Open SSH website to download Open SSH code and use the use the MKPA SFD to set the SFTP directory. So this directory will override the previous FTP directory. Thanks for your watching.